We will now discuss the application of the ambulatory total contact cast. We initially begin with the fact that you can hydrate the leg for about five minutes prior to applying your very, very light dressing to the wound, which is typically just one layer to the area. You see you need very few materials to apply the contact cast, which you see here. We're going to use typically is lamb's wool in between the toes. Following that, we'll apply a typically a three inch stockinette to the foot. This stockinette is typically applied to a level of three finger breadths below the fibular head, which is marked with an indelible pen. This is our next step, which is the application of an accommodative pad to the anterior aspect of the tibia. Note the accommodation to the ankle. This is taped in place at all sites. Following this, we'll typically use either speaker foam or 3M rest-on foam, which is self-adhesive foam, which is cut to fit the distalmost aspect of the foot extending to the level of the metatarsal phalangeal joints plantarly. This is, again, cut to fit. We are now nearly finished with our initial aspect of the contact cast, which is the precast area. We will then apply some adhesive felt to the medial and lateral malleoli to protect them. And now this is what we have uh, prior to our application of the contact cast. We then move the patient to a prone position we have an assistant who is very, very important in holding the foot in 90 degrees in both the sagittal and frontal planes, as you see here. Uh, then the cast applicator uh, is making very, very certain to avoid uh, wrinkles on the plantar aspect of the foot. You see here uh, that those being rubbed out. Any tucking of casting material, either plaster or fiberglass, is done on the anterior uh, aspect of the leg or foot at the site of padding. You see here the application team rubbing out any wrinkles and what you have on the plantar aspect is something that is a relatively pristine uh, gypsum and plaster applied. Our next step is a three to four or four inch fiberglass applied in a similar manner to the gypsum and plaster again applied with as few wrinkles as possible. If wrinkles do develop, then those, as you see here, that must now be accommodated by tucking anteriorly. Any wrinkles must be accommodated for in an area that can indeed accommodate the wrinkle. If that wrinkle stays posteriorly or plantarly, then indeed that could cause an iatrogenic lesion. And it is the job of the assistant to identify this. Our next step after our first layer of fiberglass is to take fiberglass uh, strips and roll it out into our posterior splint. The posterior splint fortifies the contact cast posteriorly and also theoretically allows for further weight transduction or force transduction up the cast wall. This may be applied dry as it absorbs the moisture from the most in intimate aspects of the cast um, as the cast cures. You see this being applied in this manner. Now, if we need to accommodate for either a varus or equinus deformity, you see here, this can be done by simply taking extra fiberglass material and placing it posteriorly or laterally, as you see here. And if you need to apply more cast material, you may do so in this manner. We typically do not apply a plywood walking platform or a rubber walking platform any longer as we find that that tends to cause too much of a limb length discrepancy. So we will then go now with our final layer of fiberglass. This can be applied slightly more tightly and snugly than the others. And once this is finished, we will then have ourselves a finished ambulatory total contact cast which in about one half hour, we'll be ready for a light ambulation in a cast boot. What you see being done here is uh, typically, typically what we will do, which is the uh, 
application of cut lines, uh, when we typically will cut off the contact cast, we will do so anteriorly and at the ankle, again, along areas where the felt padding is already existing. This will avoid any kind of abrasions or cast burns. And once this is completed and the cast is removed, we are ready for our next cast application and ultimately on the way to healing.